Heading into 2021, one of our most anticipated games of the year was 12 Minutes. On the surface, 12 Minutes appeared to be a point-and-click adventure blended with a time loop thriller. The anticipation level was high due to many things working in the favor of 12 Minutes, including the signature isometric art style, the plot, voice talents, and many other things, along with my enjoyment of point-and-click adventure games from yesteryear. The less you know about 12 Minutes, the better off you will be heading into the game. You play as a husband who is enjoying a special night with his wife, when suddenly a cop comes knocking on the door, looking for something and accusing your wife of murder. And this is where the loop resets and the journey of the game is to figure out the truth of the situation without leaving the very small one-bedroom apartment. Early on in 12 minutes, you are constantly learning something new that will help you advance the story, but in the second half of the game, that progress changes to frustration at times when you can't quite figure out what needs to be done to move things forward. True to the point-and-click genre, you could have all the right ingredients you need to make the recipe, but if they aren't used in the exact proper order at the exact proper time, then it just won't work. And this leads to you thinking, You've tried a solution that didn't work when in reality you had it right all along and just needed better timing or a different order of questioning. And this gets amplified when you finally stumble backwards into the solution, knowing that you had tried it many loops ago. This frustration could be by design as going through a time loop would be incredibly frustrating by having to repeat the same things over and over again with no one believing you and knowing you have only a limited amount of time to attempt a fix. It's hard to know if the developers have designed this game to be frustrating to truly immerse you alongside the character or if these are just game design flaws. And based on a few other issues with the game, this feels like an unintended feature. The controls in 12 minutes can be the difference between progressing the story forward and having to repeat the same loop over again. Simply put, they are clunky at times and clearly more designed with keyboard and mouse in mind. They are serviceable on the controller, but there are times when you want to do one thing secretly, but the controls force you to do something that you don't want to do not so secretly, and this ends up forcing you to endure the unwanted consequences which then makes you have to repeat the exact same steps over again in another loop. There are some light bulb moments when you finally figure out what needed to be done to progress the time loop forward, and there are some clever environmental elements that change with certain decisions along the way that get made, but more often, these small touches don't keep the ship buoyant for the whole journey. Despite the graphical scope of the game seemingly being very limited to a small apartment, there are plenty of issues with clipping and character models. The models themselves don't look overly great, including the wife who looks very similar to an early character model from The Sims 1, but the most jarring of the graphical issues is the constant clipping or no clipping to be more precise. Characters constantly float right through each other and right through parts of the apartment which can be immersion breaking when a heavy plot point is happening. However, the biggest culprit of breaking immersion is the tonal shifts between certain dialogue choices. I can't even imagine how many different lines of audio needed to be written and recorded, but sometimes the weight of the dialogue just doesn't match up. At one minute, your wife is giving you some earth-shattering information, and the response that you give is more of a, hey, dessert is ready, kind of tone. It's hard to comprehend being told something that would change your life and responding nonchalantly. 12 minutes felt very reminiscent to The Walking Dead from Telltale back in 2012. The Walking Dead was a very flawed game with many glaring issues, including clunky controls, story filler, and many technical problems. The thing is, at the end of The Walking Dead Season 1, I was speechless because of the impact that the story and the characters made on me throughout the journey. Tough choices were made along the way that invested you deeper into the characters, and due to a similar feeling initially, it left me hopeful for how 12 minutes would turn out. The Walking Dead in 2012 was game of the year material, not just from myself, but from many outlets. Sometimes the heart of a game can compensate for shortcomings in other areas, and that is what happened with The Walking Dead Season 1 in 2012. Unfortunately, 12 minutes just didn't resonate with me nearly on the same level that the first season did with Lee and Clem. This was a game that made me care deeply about the characters, but in 12 minutes, 
The game forces you to make a lot of choices that feel forced and reveals that have too much narrative dissonance. The story and the choices just feel off and cause a massive disconnect between the player and the character. Loops are short enough and usually each loop you can make some small progress which can be applied in the next loop and this is if you don't hit one of the many roadblocks in the game. Now the controls are simple enough that they don't overly get in the way of what the game is trying to achieve and the art style was a smart choice that minimizes the importance of graphics and puts a maximum importance on story and plot. 12 Minutes was a small indie game that felt like it had a chance to be something special despite many of its technical shortcomings, although eventually even the story couldn't carry the whole load for the rest of the game. Sadly, 12 Minutes is not the game that I was hoping that it would be, but as a big fan of point and click adventure games, it was nice to see a modern take on the genre. 12 Minutes will likely be a very divisive game, and I think your mileage may vary drastically depending on which of the many endings that you possibly get and when you decide that you've just had enough. Sometimes, less is more. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, leaving a like, and let me know in the comments below what your favorite point-and-click adventure game is of all time.